We are live, and this, Hello. Spencer, would you like to tell our audience what this is? Yeah, sure. Uh, one of my artist friends has tuned into the stream a couple times, and uh, he loved Jessamine desperately trying to hold Orson's hand as they walk <laughs> through the street. And so uh, he decided to draw the party for me in his cute little cartoon style. It's so cute. I love it so much. So thank you to Arlu. Thank you. Is that Arlu. is that um Yes. Uh, do you have a link to his stuff? Maybe we could like I don't on me. Okay, that's okay. We can you do it later? Do Maybe just copy and paste yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. But he uh he's from Brazil <gasps> and he is wonderful. Amazing. That's so cute. I love it. Um, we're like famous now. Oh my god. <laughs> we have fan art. It's like fine. Stop. I'm just kidding, but I'm also not kidding. We're famous. Thank you. That's awesome. I love it. Tell your friend thank you so much. I will. Bump all of us. Okay. Wait. Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> uh, to another session of Curse of Strahd. Where we left off, the party was shopping in Valaki. Uh That's pretty much all they got done last time, because <laughs> while they were running their errand, they were attacked by some of the members of Lady Wachter's cult. Um, they heard from one of these cult members that the book club they disrupted might be a bigger issue for them than they first thought. Yay. And now, today, after a near-death experience for bo both Orson and Cloud, uh, we are going to finish up our errands, and then I think that they're going to be finishing up helping the Wizard of Wines. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes <clears throat> that sounds correct. Yep. I'm awake. I'm alive. Oh, it's good. Oh, I'm fine. I, I hear had... loud, loud yawning, and I'm like, oh god, what's happening? It's just, it's just a scream. <laughs> Jessamine <laughs> is in like extremely high spirits this morning. She like jumps out of bed and goes to her new teapot and starts making tea. And she just makes four cups. She doesn't ask anybody if they want it. They're drinking it this morning because she is so happy. And she's kind of humming to herself. She makes the tea. And she brings it to all of them. And she doesn't say anything. She just like... <laughs> and then she just like goes back to give the cup to the next person. Can I get away with not drinking the tea? Herbal for me, babe. You know it. I mean, maybe Orzin and maybe she doesn't maybe this morning it'll be fine if you don't because she had such a good dream that it's she fine. doesn't really give a shit about you anymore in her mind she's so, like he may not be drinking it but he actually is like yeah. she's just in denial <laughs> yeah his like, soul is drinking like it. he doesn't want to drink it in front of me but as soon as i turn away he's gulping it down no i don't <laughs> i just leave it on the table let her dream okay or literally then? my god Right. Okay. So I believe we wanted to go to the herbalist and then the apothecary and then try to get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. When will my new dress be ready? Uh, he said it would take a couple days. Okay. And my rapier. Uh, he also said that would take a couple days. Okay, just just checking. Okay. Yes. I wanna I wanna before we leave, I wanna give um, Orchard some sugar water and bird seed, and just check in right. and just you know, because I feel like I've been neglecting him because he did such a good job getting Jasmine, so we didn't die. <laughs> so I wanna just make sure he's doing good and he's happy. You're little, not the gold neck. Look at the earth. Yeah, hmm? he looks happy. Uh, no, you're not neglecting him. Look at the art. No, I know I'm not neglecting him, but I feel like I always forget about him when we're in the heat of things, and I feel like I should be like, either like using him or like sending him like far up to like get out of the way. So, 
But I love him. And he I think you've trained him well, so you don't have to. He just yeah, knows. Yeah, he just he knows. Attacks, he kind of flies away, and then he knows what your friends are. So if you die, then he knows who to go to. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh my god, guys, stop it. Too much love. As I leave the room, and by the way, I was I was like rolling just to see if I felt bad or not. I rolled a two. So <laughs> he feels so bad. He feels just so, so bad about so, it. I felt so bad about it. So it was some kind of like walks out the room, closes the door behind him, and he's like, and he opens the door again. He takes the cup of tea and he takes it with him downstairs. Oh, <laughs> Jessamine sees this and she's just like, ah, she just like keeps going on her day. It's going to be a great day because Orzin willingly drank the tea. Yes! Right. Yes! <laughs> uh, Orson, as you make your way outside again, you you see your salt and pepper gray friend downstairs in his typical purple and orange garb, grabbing his wolf steak, buying lots of wolf steak, like more Why than his arms can feasibly carry. He makes his way so out of the tavern. Can, can I do like an insight check to like think about why he needs so many steaks? Maybe he's growing. I mean, you can try. Sure. Is that high DC? I'm assuming I would expect nothing less. Okay. Hey, that's a natural 19. Wow. Plus my insight is two, so that's 21. All right. Um, oh my god. Not exactly insight, but you can remember that the last time you asked him, uh, he said that he was bringing food for his friend, the toy maker down the street. <clears throat> Oh, so he's like buying for two. Oh, that really creepy one that sold Jasmine the straw. <laughs> My like straw. <laughs> Presumably. Where did he keep that? It's in our room. It's propped oh. up. Oh. I thought you were taking it with us. Oh, and then there was. I mean, maybe I am today. Maybe today was... I decided it's, it's Puppet Straw Day. Jasmine it's such a good day. Might as well make it better. <laughs> Sorry, what, Talia? There was something. There was a piece of information we got last time pertaining to him potentially. Oh, yeah. about Blinsky. Uh, Blinsky. I don't remember what it was. Can I, I make a oh, history he's, check he's to recall hunters? the information? Well, he's one of the hunters who shot at us. Who might have shot at us. No, no maybe is not one of That is not I'll what that was. I'll make the history check, Jessamine. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> no, that's uh, uh, Soldar and... Um, that's an 18. Yes. Um, Guinea. Um, well, I obviously helped with my seven. Just wanted to put that out there. Talia, you can remember that in Rictavio's journal, there is talk about a pet monkey. Yes, the monkey. Oh. You also, last time when you talked to the severed you head... Rickton's journal? Um, you remember when you talked to the severed head, he mentioned that he was killed because he was trying to steal uh, Van Richten's cart and his pet monkey. Right. Wouldn't that have been nice if we had one of those spells last night with the murder mystery one, so we could just be like, yo, Mary, who killed you? <laughs> this was a cleric. I know, no one picked cleric. It's like... If you want to watch that, the VOD will be on my Twitch for two weeks. <laughs> Shameless plug! <laughs> so, should we... <clears throat> should we... Should we go? Yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm, ready I'm to go going to time. roll for whether Jessamine decides to take the Strahd puppet out today. No, please right. don't. Jessamine. Okay. Um, Cloud, Otter Evens. Odd. Okay, she doesn't take it out today. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I love you. She like, <laughs> she, like, looks at it, and she's just, like, thinking about it. And then she thinks about how we're going to go shopping, and she's kind of like, hmm, I don't know if I want to be, like, carrying that if I'm going to be, like, buying things. So she's like, maybe not today. And then she goes downstairs. All right. You all have a lovely but somewhat repetitive breakfast of wolf steak and tube vegetables like potatoes and carrots. Delicious. Although they do make it pretty well here, it is getting pretty old having the same thing for breakfast every morning. I can imagine. Psst, Cloud. Can I have a good berry? 
Oh yeah, sure. I don't have any more, but I can make some. Okay. Thank you. These are so yummy. I'm just gonna have one. And I put them in my little herb pouch. Okay. All right. I feel great, rejuvenated. Do you guys want a good berry instead of breakfast? Um, I I kind of actually enjoy the bowl steak. Yeah, same. So really, it kind of it kind of reminds me of it kind of reminds me of my repetitive um, meals. So sounds good. Some homie. <laughs> I'm gonna mark off a spell slot for good berry. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Mitch? Oh, it's largely up to you now. Where would you like to go? I know Jasmine want. Oh my God! <laughs> I know Jasmine wanted to go see the herbalist, and I was really interested in the apothecary. Mm -hmm. um, yep, he could hit. Uh, I will say, you don't know where the herbalist is, and through your little ventures through the town, you haven't seen like a, a big shop that says that it's an herbalist. I'm gonna ask the bartender. Yeah. Hey, bartender. What's his name again? I don't know. It's fine. <laughs> bartender. <laughs> What's um, up? Hi. Oh, you go. Hi. Um, we were wondering if you knew where the town herbalist was. We heard about um this establishment and we're very interested in um going, but we have no idea where in town it might be. Oh, you mean Jenny? Yeah. That sounds right. Um, she operates out of a little dirt shack just outside of town. It's uh, it's somewhat near the apothecary. Oh. She doesn't really care much for civilization, as far as I'm aware. So. Oh. Uh, Orzen, that sounds perfect for you. <laughs> Red. <laughs> what? Red. Uh, what? Whoa, Polya. Uh, hey. Can I roll? Can I roll? Can I roll to <laughs> Did you hear the like snarkiness in her voice? <laughs> cool. you yeah, I got a three. I literally don't know. Yeah. Like, and I'm like, yeah, that's, that's right. Insight for that. Can I roll to see if Jessamine gets it? <laughs> uh, sure. I rolled inside. I got a three plus three is six. Okay. <laughs> All right. She she gets it. She like giggles a little bit. She's like, I literally don't get it at all. I like, have not been in human contact um, for 150 years, and I got it. There is no way you <laughs> couldn't have got it. Okay. It's okay. Because, it's, because it's a fact. It's not even <laughs> like a, it's not a roast. I would, I would it's just, just a dick. It's just a fact. <laughs> anyway, okay, I okay. I like I kind of like <laughs> tap on them, and I'm like, sorry, we're so um, energetic this morning. Um, but so. If it's near the apothecary, then maybe you could tell us where the apothecary is as well? Oi, sure. Um, he, he gives you directions. I'm just going to take you to the map and show you where that is. Mm -hmm. Ta-da, we're back in the town. So, uh, just outside of town, this building here <laughs> next to the wall is the apothecary. Mm-hmm that out to you. And then he mentions the path that's directly across the street from the apothecary that goes down. And she's in a little dirt hut just south. Thank you. Amazing. I would love to go see her. Yes. Um, Let's go. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks. You as well. Thank you. All right, well, I guess that works out that they're next to each other, right? What else did you guys want to do? And I look at Talia and Orson. There's nothing really much I want to do. I, I mean, I have my, I'm having my weapon looked at it by Talia. Um, Dusty Muffin, he will, will uh, look at the... Like that. <laughs> we'll look at the um, gold competition, obviously. Mm -hmm. but. Um, I, I kind of say, like, I, I have nothing to do. I actually want to see the apothecary and the herbalist for my alchemist supplies and just to see what I can um, make and craft or learn, possibly obtain a recipe, see, you know. Great. Okay, well then, uh, why don't we go there? Cool. I am humming as I go. So right. apothecary first, then we'll try to find the herbalist. Yeah. 
sounds good. Uh, just give me one second. Like mm -hmm. <clears throat> For some reason, my notes on these NPCs have disappeared. No! Ah, here we go. All right, so you make your way out of town. Um, mm -hmm. And Cloud and Orson in particular are suspicious and watching shapes in the corner of their eye. Uh, the streets are pretty empty thus far. Uh, it's pretty early in the morning still. The sun has just risen. And it's a pretty gloomy day today. I, the clouds hang overhead pretty dark and purple, and there are only a few spots where the sun is peeking through. But you make your way through the town nonetheless, and uh, eventually, you do make it back out to the walls of the town. Uh, and as you do, you bump past two familiar-looking figures from last night's ventures in the tavern. Uh, Soldar and Evgeny are hanging in a large wolf carcass. Hi! Evgeny kind of nods down at you as both of his arms are on a wolf body. You just... Mm -hmm. Hello? How are you? I um I see that you um are hunting today. As we always are. It's a busy life. Mhm. Mm well, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you. You as well. Thank you. So far. Keep walking along with a very large wolf body. Uh, you can tell this is a dire wolf because you've fought them before. It's like ten feet long. Damn. Wow. Just mean just, just is like humming along, just like not even phased. She's just like, mm -hmm. like everything's. It's a good day. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like slightly impressed as they walk by. I'm like, nice. <clears throat> uh, as you leave the town, the guards are more than willing to open the gates for you. They've seen you come and go, and they know how you've helped the burgomaster in the past. Uh, and outside of the walls. Probably only 200 feet out, there is a tiny little building with a hanging sign overhead that says, The Third Eye Potions and Sundries. Mm. So that's our, uh, that's our herbalist, I'm assuming? Probably the apothecary. Isn't the apothecary down, more down south? Or is it... No, the herbalist was the one yeah, that was more down, down south. Okay, so yeah. Mm -hmm. She's the one who doesn't like human interaction. The apothecary, we don't know that much about, but... Should be fine. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go now. Out of here. We enter. <clears throat> uh, you walk into the the shop, and it's it's very small, probably a fifteen by fifteen square foot house. Um, there is a second floor, but it looks even smaller than the first. Uh, you could imagine that she just sleeps up there. In the shopkeep is behind the counter rummaging down below, so you can't quite see who it is. Hello? Uh, you hear a thunk. Oh, shit! Oh, oh, oh. oh. So sorry. sorry. Takes a step back and comes up, gripping the back of her head. Uh, it's a young half-elf. Oh. It's a woman who appears to be half Vistani and half Drow. Ooh, a dusk elf. She has, uh, she has somewhat darker skin to anyone else in the town, uh, especially with the, with the dusk elf heritage. Uh, it's kind of a smoky color, uh, and like most half elves, she's tall, relatively gaunt, and has pointed but still small ears. Um, she's. She looks down at you and is gripping the back of her head, and she, oh, hello, <laughs> good morning. Good morning, I'm sorry about that. We didn't mean to scare you. It's, it's quite all right. Good, Barry? I'm, I've eaten already, thank oh. you. It, I'm, I just thought it might make you feel a little better. Can I help you? We just wanted well, to look around well, at your shop. All right. Uh, what what kind of stuff do you carry here? 
Um, well, uh, I'm an apothecary. I run an apothecary. I, I do <laughs> potions. I collect and sell monster parts to make potions. Um, Jen down south helps me collect and sell some herbs. Oh, we're going to see her next. Oh, lovely. Uh, I'm sure she will enjoy this. I have a question for you. Very pressing, very important. Do you know if you can do anything with imp dust? Oh, well, sure. Um, if you have the right materials and tools, uh, you could make yourself uh, a couple quite handy potions that deal with fire. Mm-hmm. You do still have like the, the goop. Uh, I kind of, I kind of, I pull it, I pull it out of my bag. And so, oh yes. yes, you do. <laughs> okay. It's in, it's in the box. I kind of like open it up and I show her. And close it. <laughs> I see that. That's um, sort of like fire-related things. Uh, <laughs> there are a couple potions you could brew with it if you give yourself the time. Um, I could take it and brew it for you if you'd like. Um, I can't guarantee that you would have the same results as I would brewing the potions. I kind of do this for a living. Um, there are a couple different options. You could, uh, well, you could fail and make yourself just a really briny, hot water. It's kind of, uh, or there are you can make yourself a potion of fire resistance, <clears throat> which would make yourself pretty impervious to fire for a short amount of time. Or if you're particularly lucky with the quality of the dust, uh, you could make yourself a potion of fire bleed. I look at Talia this entire time and I'm just like, with my eyebrows, I'm like, mm. I, kind of, I kind of like, I kind of, I heard fire breathing and I'm like, and I looked slowly but surely towards Tali, and I see that she's smiling. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> Jessica in her head is like, yes. <laughs> and, I, and I ask, um, I have some, I have some alchemist supplies. I particularly don't want to fiddle around with this dust because it could be of some particular rarity. But um, could you, part, could you happen to teach me how to, how to make, how to make this potion of fire reading for the future, possibly? Oh, uh, well, what do you have? <laughs> she takes a second to like look through your supplies, and, and you have most of the basics. Uh, you're able to, if you were to mix imp dust with the materials that you have right now, you could probably make a pretty respectable potion. Uh, I would have to, you'd have to make a roll off right. of your alchemist supplies. Um, but uh, with her help, and I'd say a cost of 10 gold for materials, um, it would substantially lower the DC to successfully make a potion. Uh, I like that. I can buy the gold because I want the fire. <laughs> Talia, I love you, but that's so creepy. <laughs> I mean, if you think I... about it, if... She has the urges of fire, and we somehow get a potion of fire resistance. It just, it makes it so she can't hurt herself. And Are I, we doing resistance or fire breathing? Well, because I that think it depends. I think fire breathing. breathing. Well, of course. Well, but... With the skills that you have, I'm not sure that you'd have much of a choice over it. Yeah, it could be either or. Potions are very finicky things. Either way, I think that she's either safe or she has awesome abilities that will help in our favor. I'm helping you, Talia. <laughs> I'm advocating for you. Okay. How about in any case, I do have potions available. Um, I don't really have any fire breathing potions. I apologize. Uh, imp dust is kind of a rarity around here. I haven't seen any fiends in quite a long time. We just saw one the other day. We want to go explore. Um... Your dust is still goopy, and you yeah. haven't even used it properly. Yeah, uh, we weren't really sure what to do with it, but I'm glad that it could actually be put to good use. 
I saved it because you never know, right? Right. Oh, I do have another question. Um, I just pull out the head and slam it on the counter. Oh, um, my What is so, this doing in my store? Well, okay. So don't focus on the head. It's not important. Um, focus kind on... kind of squints at it for a second and goes, Yeah? So I did not kill him. We found him in a wizard's tower. We talked to him. It's fine. He's good. Um, I have a question about the liquid preserving his head. I cast calm emotions. <laughs> okay. Because she looks like she's going to freak out. Yeah, I was literally just rolling. Uh, uh, um, charisma save. Right. Nat four. She fails. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Um... So she, you see as she's like, and all of a sudden just a wave of calm passes over her and she goes, please put that thing away. Of course, of course, Cloud. Just, just, clap, clap. maybe we should just uh, say I it just instead of, clap, 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 I know. You take a separate vial of just the liquid yeah. inside. Do you have a vial? Just a spare empty one. Um, three gold. Please. I put I it on the table. Myself. Yes. Huh? Three gold, please. I have yeah. to make them myself. Yes, of course. And I, I put three gold down. And she she hands you a pretty respectable sized vial. Well, that's I, like, kinda, happening. I just yeah, say, I kind of go in the corner um, and I'm like. Yeah. We um were in a flight of hand. A... <laughs> of hand <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Not that good. Um, oh! Um, 12? Could I assist since I'm going to be talking to her? Uh, she's not going to do anything bad. She's just, uh, she does know what you're doing, although she <laughs> are trying to hide it from her. <laughs> we, um, had an experience in a wizard's tower. We were looking for someone, and we found, um a head in a jar we're not really sure who it was or what happened to them and we were very interested in how the head was preserved and that was his question he meant no disrespect he meant no uh intimidation i, I see um i i apologize yan was just a good friend of mine and i knew that he wouldn't last long after he was banished from from our camp but I, I had hoped, you know? Absolutely, and I, I am so sorry. We had no idea of your connection to him. Um, and to kind of uh, put put her mind up, and I'm like, why why not make that potion? How would you teach me? And uh, we'll, we'll just, uh, just, we'll just make sure. Sure. Um, <clears throat> oh, uh, I wasn't thinking I would teach you. Uh, I was going to sell you the components to make it. I assume that you are quite proficient with alchemist supplies already. I am. I was just wondering if your help would come. <laughs> yes. Uh, by giving you the the exact components that you would need, she has substantially lowered the DC on your alchemist supplies check that you will make later when you decide to make the potion. Okay. Well, dude, thank you. So what do you have in terms of, of like potions of healing and just different kinds of potions. Oh, I have, I have plenty of potions of healing. These are pretty standard fare for for people making their way out of town. Um, she kind of guides your attention over to a shelf over there. Uh, she is selling... Like, there's a whole shelf completely full of potions in varying sized bottles and... Uh, this shelf that she's pointing you to is dedicated to this dark red liquid with faint mm. bubbles rising up through it. A lava lamp. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite, but close. The cursed lava lamp. Um, um, here I have basic potions of healing are um, 50 gold. Uh, you can get a lesser one for 25, you can get a, a greater for 75. 
Um, and I, I whisper to Talia, and I'm like, um, I would also like to remind that I'm basically a walking potion of healing, but I understand <laughs> if you want um, some extra ones. It's good. I, I kind of hear this, and I'm like, and I'm like, wow, you got very little self-respect for yourself. I was just stating a fact that I can do the same thing. Uh, but I walk around and breathe. <laughs> and I don't cost any money. <laughs> and I don't cost 50 gold. I, I, it doesn't I, mean you realize you have a lot of other skills as well. The shopkeeper's gonna kind of clear her throat and go, you realize I can walk around as well? Oh, of course, of course. Oh, I, I wasn't <laughs> trying to, I was just simply oh. saying that I can heal and um, I don't cost any money. All right. Uh, yeah. I kind of say, I kind of say, I say she, that could be useful to you. I kind of say, Before she's I... not trying to be rude, she's just trying to be helpful. And then I'm like, um, anyways, do you have any potions of invisibility? Uh, no, but I could probably make one. Um, Jessamine's just kind of like looking at her feet and she's just thinking, I can make you invisible too! <laughs> and, and I hear I like I like remember that spell and I'm like just we don't say anything just we don't say anything. Uh, she rambles on about how she would have to order some specific parts to get it done and it would take a day or two but she can. So what potions do you have in stock? Oh uh, well I uh, I have many that would provide some bonuses to you. Uh, I have oaken skin potions that would make you resistant to. Uh, physical damage, like uh, like a bite or a slash. Um, I look at Cloud. <laughs> Can you just maybe grab one of those for me? We all look at Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> it's more Where, practical mm. than my Blade Ward scroll. Are you interested in scrolls? That's another question for another mm, No, not really. Duly noted. I still have a uh, question about the liquid. She has couple other potions um there's potions of water breathing potions of gaseous form potions of climbing clearly potions of healing uh she has potions of animal friendship uh some potions of poison uh both disguised and not uh, she has a single potion of stone giant strength whoa and a single potion called a filter of love um, and then, excuse me. And uh, I, I know what Jessica means to do, but like, do not, <laughs> nope. do not give Points your attention towards the door behind <laughs> you. Um, and the, by the door, there's a box, uh, and that box is full of just various vials and bottles of different shapes and sizes. That's the discount. Like the, the fairy godmother's closet in yes. a... <laughs> That's the discount? <gasps> That's the discount thing. Those... Uh, either aren't as strong as I would like, or might have some adverse side effect, or maybe I was making it and forgot to label it. But uh, <laughs> they go for five gold apiece, and I like that. None of them will do any permanent harm. <gasps> so I'm gonna jump in here. How much for the oaken strength? Oh, uh, an oaken skin potion. Oaken skin. Thank uh, you. Uh, that would cost you. 35 gold, I'd say. Okay. I'll uh, take and, that. And, uh, and then an oaken, she oaken skin potion would raise your armor class by two for 1d4 minus one hours. Okay. Whoa. Wow, that's a pretty long time. I will take time. that and throw in one mystery potion from the discount box. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Um, excuse the fan me. me is so excited about that. So, excuse me. Uh, the way that the potion. mystery potions work is I will have you roll a d100 and tell me what you roll. Oh my okay. god. I will give you potion effects and how long they last. Okay. Um, I'm doing it now. Oh. No, uh, you're going to roll that when you drink the potion. <laughs> I'm so scared, but I absolutely love it. Okay, so should I just put um, Oaken skin? Po uh, Oaken, yeah, Oaken skin. Uh, I don't think that's officially on D&D &D Beyond because I made most of these potions up, but um, uh, just uh, <clears throat> item. like a custom item that you have an Oaken skin potion. 
And then when you choose to drink it, um, you can custom add plus two to your armor class. Um, excuse me. I was wondering if you could elaborate on the filter of love potion. Oh. I you will not get that potion. The filter 100%. of love is uh, a very expensive potion. Uh, it's oh. very hard to make and takes a long time to make. However, um, when you drink this potion, uh, they the person who drinks it becomes charmed by the creature who made them drink it uh, for at least one hour, mm -hmm. uh, and it could last for longer depending on the amount that we drink and uh, uh, the amount they drink, how strong the potion is, but I assure you mine is very strong. Um, then if the the person or creature who gave the other person the potion is of a gender and species that they are normally attracted to, uh, the person who drank the potion will regard the other as their true love during the period of time they are trapped. Hmm. Jasmine, as hmm? much as the Fae and me would love to mess with Orson like that, maybe not the best idea. Yeah, definitely not. I'm very, very proficient in charm. I'll also add, I'll also add the liquid is very easy to miss if you mix it with something like tea. <gasps> oh, no. No, 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 no. Do I hear, do I hear any of No, do no, hear, no, you I don't. That's me. I think you should do it. <laughs> do it. No. How, how, do it, do it, when do you it. say um, expensive, what exactly are we talking here? It would run you about 50 gold. <sighs> No! <laughs> Orson, you're not here. No, you're not do I, here. Do I see this? Do I see this? Do I see <laughs> no, you're looking at the mystery bin. Oh my god, okay, fine. Um, what color is the potion? Uh, she pulls it from underneath the counter, and you see, like, a bubble-shaped like heart-shaped bottle. This is some Shrek 2 shit right here. Right <laughs> like this is literally uh, Shrek 2. In the tea! <laughs> it's the most clear liquid uh, with some very, very faint rose hue. Hmm. Uh, and you can see every once in a while, there is a single bubble that rises up through the bottle. And as it pops, it just makes a tiny little splash. That's so cute. Literally Shrek. I yeah. want to ask her, I'm going to say, um, do you know if you've tried to make any of these and, like, they ended up in the mystery bin and if I could, like, maybe find... I just... I really want to... I would but... say your chances of finding one of these in the mystery bin is about one in a hundred. And because... Obviously, it's one in a hundred. All right, I know, Jessamine. I have to make a wisdom save right now. <laughs> That's the only way to do it. Aw, oh, man. What did you roll? 24. Yeah, you succeed. Damn it. Um, well, you saved on your wisdom saving throw, but you still have, you can still follow your own intuition and do what you want. You still have free will. I want to do it. But also, I'm it. like, like, of course, Jessamine wants it, but she doesn't want to do, like, she doesn't want to, like, upset Orzin. Like, you know. While that's going on, I'm going to No, I'm talking to you. Me? Yeah. You're. Um, oh. You're right there. I'm oh, like, okay. I kind of turn to the shopkeeper. I'm like, how how much for the how much for the potion of um, was it giant strength? Giant strength. I was gonna ask you about that. Oh yes, potions of giant strength are also particularly difficult to make. Um, they require parts from an elder tree, uh, which we only have one of here in Barovia, and is currently infested by a a group of evil druids. Um, Anyway, uh, do you, do you I'm need us just to about to take care of that, actually. <laughs> do, you just, do, do you need us to take care of that? Because yeah. Well, it would be quite nice. Um, you... 
Yeah, that would be quite nice. It would be much easier to get get potion parts from that part of the country. Um, <clears throat> very dangerous down there. Sorry, I was listening to the voices in my head. What what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> don't, 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 don't mind her, um, I was just in disregard. In any case, um, the potion of stone giant strength would run you probably 75 gold. Um, hey Cloud. Yes. Um, I need to pay for my story. Do you right? think it's worth it? I really want it, but I feel like if it didn't work or once it wore off, he would be really mad at me and he wouldn't talk to me anymore. That's I will add, consideration. Uh, the charm wears off. This is not a charm that they're aware of. Yeah. It's, oh. I don't think it's like my charm thing. So it's not brain. like charm person where as soon as it ends, he knows what's been like no, that. that I wouldn't know. Okay. No. I mean, you would probably have a little bit of an idea, but he would... if they recognize that there is something in the drink, which is a check that they have to make before they take a drink. I will say it does feel just like a little bit date rape ish. I know that's what I'm. That's why Ooh, I'm kind of like. Mm. So. I I'm partial. I would love to see that happen, but if you're not comfortable That'd be so with it, funny. That's what you should do. Yeah, I know, right, Talia? Oh my god. Could you imagine? That'd this is literally funny. like, don't do I it, girl. Believe, it's not believe. worth I it. Worth it. <laughs> don't do it, girl. <laughs> it's not worth it. I'm not gonna do it, girl. I was just I thinking was about it. I'm not gonna do it. I did it. <laughs> I did it. So is there any questions like from me? I, no. I want well, to, why like... Why don't you think about it while we go on our yeah. mission? And we can always head back this way. I want to whisper to her and just be like, Hi, could you just, like, save that potion for the rest of the day? I may come back and, and decide to get it. Sure. Thank you. <clears throat> um, I I want to pull out the vial of liquid I took from the head jar. Uh, does, is this, um... Is this an apothecary or is this like an herbal remedy? Because I smell lavender and I'm very confused. Uh, that is a pretty standard preservative mixture uh, with lavender oil mixed in. So okay, it so it, it's foul. not, sorry, what? So it doesn't smell near as foul. If the lavender weren't in it, it would smell like the head that you have in the jar. That's very fair. Right. So it's not like purely herbal. It's more of like a, an alchemical mix. Yes. Okay. Cool, cool. Thank you so much. Thank and you. You know how oh, you... we like get rid of the head now, Cloud? Yeah, I have the vial, so we don't really need the head anymore. Um, but we also shouldn't just like leave it somewhere. Maybe that like what get back... I was going to say. I, I Maybe also... we like. Jasmine, do you want to have a nice little burial service for it? Yeah. 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 Okay, we can we can do that later though. We should probably focus on the task at hand. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to carry around a head, but that's just me. Jessamine's just, like, zoned out looking at Orzin. <laughs> She's just... I can't She's believe like... I didn't hear any of this. I'm just letting y'all know. No, Anyways, you didn't. Um, can I, can I, before I leave, can I buy two of the random potions? Sure. Look at 10 gold and mark random potions in your inventory. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get it. Let me know. Roll the D100, and I will tell you what effect you get. I'm gonna get two as well. This sounds like a fun little. Hey, we're about to go to bed. What does we this do potion, potion do? roulette? <laughs> Fine, if we're all doing it, I'll do it too. Yes. Yay! He is very happy to take all of your money and see the discount bin starting to go down. Yeah. This is literally like D and D drinking night for the party. It's like, okay, I'll we do, still need to do this that. one. That girl, that was Does Identify work on potions. Sorry, Say that what? again. Does identify work on potions? It will tell you if an item is magical, how many charges it has, and if it is magical, the effects of that magic. So yeah. So if a potion so, yeah. is magic, which it usually is, then hypothetically. It would. It also, would. I think it's more fun to take it randomly. I think so, too. I know, but I feel like Talia is so smart, she wouldn't want to do that. Oh, but Cloud would. And Jasmine would. Yeah. And Orts totally would. It's two Electrum for a gold piece, right? Yes. Okay, so I give her four Electrum. Oh, wait, no, but then it's five gold, so, oh, God. What is this math? 
That'd be 20 Electrum. 20 Electrum. There you go. There it is. Um. Yes. Uh, Talia, you can certainly try. Identify on one of the potions. Cool. Maybe when we, um, leave. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not doing it right now. Okay. I just, should I wasn't we, sure. Should we go to the herbalist and then head out? We probably should yeah. get to the Let's head to the herbalist. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Yes, of course. Have a nice day. Sorry again. We can try to see about your evil to it problem. And I'll you. <laughs> I mean, goodness. What are the odds that she knows the guy in the jar? I know, right? That it's, would never happen. Probably people. very possible. I well, he was a Vasani, and she was part Vasani, so it kind of makes sense. That is, wow, that is very smart of you, too. Yeah, to I was not that observant, out. and I'm usually better at that. I just kind of feel bad. Um, yeah, that's pretty insensitive. I, I didn't mean lie. to upset Don't talk to me about being insensitive, okay? You what know you what? About? We're going. Let's go to the herbalist. <laughs> Come on. Man. Sure. Uh, you make your way along the path, uh, and I'd like everyone to make a perception check. Do I have advantage because we're like in the forest? You're oh, not that's in the forest. Good. What the <gasps> Very good. Oh my god, Jessamine is really just taking 24. in her surroundings today. Oh, 18. I modified. Nine. Um 24. 19. You know what it is? You, except for Orson. Recognize uh, that it's kind of skirting along the town wall, there is a human figure following after you. Again? I don't want to um, bring Cloud, alarm. in particular, with your high, very high perception roll, uh, you can tell that it is the same one that was following you the other day. The same person is following <clears throat> us from the other day where we almost yeah. died. I don't, I don't want to bring any alarm, um, but there, they, Wait, there is happening? someone. Um, Orzen, yeah, don't, I... don't look now, but um, there is There's someone a... following us. Um, I'm, rolling person. I, I'm rolling if I look now or not. I got a 15, I don't look now. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. 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 It's the Thank same you. person who was following us the other day when we were attacked by the cult. Oh, oh, wait. And, and I'm like, okay, don't look, don't look at the direction. I don't think they're going to attack us until we are out of sight of the town. I have I... a feeling that they are spying and information gathering. I don't think they How far to... are they away from us? Uh, you are, you're around here. Mm -hmm. For reason, my mouse doesn't want to ping where you actually are. There you are. You're mm -hmm. on the right around there. Okay. And you are up against the wall over here. Would you say they're about 30 feet away? No, they are more than 30 feet away. They're about 200 feet away. Dang. Okay, that wouldn't work. I was going to just poof to him and interrogate him, but can't do that. Let's just continue to the herbalist. Question mark? I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of put my hand on my crossbow, kind of like ready it a little bit. Um my hand crossbow. Just like ready it a little bit. Uh, sure. and then walk. Uh the rest of the way is pretty uneventful. Uh you make it down, uh, and eventually you find yourselves in front of a tiny little shack. <laughs> uh there are dirt walls and vines climbing up through them. It's got like a, a thatch roof made of hay. Ah, <laughs> oh, good times. We go in. Well, I would like to knock first. I don't oh. want, I don't want um her to get spooked and hit her head like um, what happened at the apothecary. So maybe That's we very, should. Hey, you know what, Jasmine? You're right. Let's knock. Yeah, I'd like to. You knock on the door. Uh, it's like. Again, you have me thinking about Shrek. Uh, <laughs> when Shrek puts the bark from the tree in yep. front of a cave, it's yep. like that. So you knock on it, and it's just like, thunk, thunk, thunk. I love Shrek. I love that for us. And very slowly, after you knock, the door just uh, creaks open. Um, hello? Well, hello? Hi, um, I think that this is the herbalist's place, right? I am indeed an herbalist. Great, great. We just wanted to look around and possibly purchase a few things from you. 
Sure. Would you like to come in? Yes. Thank you. Um, okay, let's go. I walk inside. I walk in. You enter the hut, uh, and it's pretty dark in here. Really, the only light that's coming in is through the holes of the thatch roof. Even then, it was pretty dark outside. Uh, however, uh, I think... Uh, I don't know who has dark vision and who does not. I don't I have dark not. vision. Okay, so I think you still don't have dark vision. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I... I didn't remember if Talia had something or not. Uh, no, I never get the goggles for I, myself. I cast... Well, well I don't cast. I use uh, Channel Divinity for Eyes of Night. Oh, and sure. um, I can give everyone magical dark vision for ten, for ten sure. minutes. Uh, inside, you see uh, through your like black and white shapes with dark vision. Uh, and Orson and Talia, you watch as the room just goes from a kind of black square to a very lively little hut. Um, you can tell uh, it's it's kind of like a studio apartment. There's a bed in the corner. There's a hole dug in the floor. For purposes, I'll let you figure out. Yeah. And then a kitchen mm. on the other side of the house. But in the middle, uh, there is a small table where a crotchety old woman is sitting, curled, and looking at the door, expectantly waiting for all of you. Expectedly? I... Well, I, you did not. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. I enter, and I march right up, and I say, Hi. Um, we just wanted to look around. We're adventurers. My friend, and I point to Cloud, and I say, um, he has an herbalism kit, and we're always just trying to see what other herbs we can have to use with that. I also, um, I don't know if you would have anything like this, but I really like tea, and I like drinking tea almost daily, and so I wasn't sure if you had anything um, that could make um, an interesting tea. She leans in close to you and goes, Dairy tea is what I specialize in. <laughs> oh, I'm very excited to hear that. Um, what kind of tea do you have? Oh, well, I have tea of all shapes and sizes. Uh, several herbal remedies that would help with various uh, various things, calming, relieving tension, <gasps> pain. Yes. Uh, I have some fruitier ones. Uh, there's a great collection of wild berries that I uh, aren't quite as wild anymore. I, I like to throw them around back. Mm -hmm. um, I have a somewhat minty tea that I like to sell. Uh, it's very cooling when you're when you're warm. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I have just some of your usual suspects. Uh, I sell black. I sell gray. I sell green. Um, how much is each kind? How much is, um, one of each kind? Well, if you're asking for one dose of each kind, I can give you a bundle of all of them for two gold. Oh, okay. Can I get two bundles? Sure. Thank you. I give her four gold. She very happily takes it from you. <gasps> Slides it, so much tea. slides it into the collar of her shirt and runs around, well, hobbles around the room, collecting bits and pieces. And After a, probably five or ten minutes, she comes back and gives you two large pouches. Uh, yeah. In each pouch is uh, eight different kinds of tea. <gasps> Yay. Amazing. Um, Besides tea, what else do you carry here? Well, it's pretty well known in the town that I make a potion meant to help men in areas of physical conquest. <laughs> okay. That's very interesting. Not interested in that. Um, for, for me. Or Zen might, but not me. Um... <laughs> He's not even here. <laughs> He's not even here to hear my roast. Um, but uh, any anything else? Oh my God. Not much. Uh, I sell individual herbs if you would be interested, but... Um, I was interested... Um, I know that with um, 
an herbalism kit, you can make basic healing potions. And I, I'm, I, I'm not too versed, but do you have anything, any herbs uh, that would help me in that kind of creation? What do you mean, help you? Like uh, anything to make it extra, um, uh, give it that little extra oomph of like refreshing healing, just things to add. Well, not right now, but if you give me a week or so, I could probably grow some. Yeah, uh, definitely, I, I can come back, sure. Um, I kind of look around and I ask her, is there, um, could you help me? Uh, I, I'm in, I have an alchemist supplies kit and, um, and if I wanted to make like some, something like a potion of healing, do you have any, like, do you have any ways to identify which points? Well, dearie, if you're trying to make a potion of healing with alchemist supplies, you're in the wrong line of business. Oh, well, um, well, I didn't know that. That was good to know. Uh, Orson, I, herbalism is more of a healing art. Alchemy is more for like um, potions like the ones we just bought. More like, um, I yeah. think... She if was you're selling, looking I think for some okay. alchemy supplies, I do sell some herbs for that, but uh, I couldn't tell you what they're used for. That would be a question for Anya up the street. We just well, met her. She's so nice. Yeah, she was really nice. Um, yeah. She really is a lovely girl. A shame the people in the town are so terrible to her. Oh, um, <laughs> so sorry. That was too much. Anyway. Can I help you with anything else? Um, I was wondering okay. if... Rapping young man, I do. Might you be interested in a potion of mine? Oh, yes. Orson, um, there's... <laughs> she sells a delightfully delectable potion that makes men stronger um, in areas of skill. Maybe you'd be interested. <laughs> If it lasts for four or more hours, please call your doctor. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, she did I got a natural that. one. I think I'm fine. <laughs> I think you would really benefit from them. I literally am like, you know what? I mean, performance sounds like a good idea. So <laughs> it really does. Yeah. Um, um, Orson, <laughs> I am going to ask your character a personal question. <laughs> I really was tuning out for a second, so I have no idea what's going on. I convinced him to buy one of the uh, Viagra potions. Sorry, what was that? Are you asking how this, many... like, out of the game, or could just mean game. hear this? How many sexual partners has Orson had? Okay. Does Orson? Probably too many to count. Ooh. All right. See, I was kind of guessing that Orson was a virtue. Um, I kind of was too that, like, put himself just out. Just at you for a second and smiles and pulls a potion out and hands it to you. Um, I really get virgin vibes from him. I'm sorry. And, um, He's buying this it's one, of, it's, one of, it's one or the other. <laughs> uh, you can mark in your inventory uh, Jenny's potion. I can't believe I just convinced um, you to buy my it. My medical pill for the middle-aged man. <laughs> it's more, it's more like, it's more a like, medical potion for the middle-aged man. It's like Orson did not know what you were talking about. Oh my God. That'll run you about five gold. Okay. Um, excuse me. I was wondering if you had um perfume or anything that could uh, oh, right make back. you smell good. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, Would you... Uh, well, what do you have? I can make you smell wonderful. Just tell me what you'd like to smell like. Um, I kind of lean in closer and I'm like, um, what do you guys like to smell? <laughs> oh, Jasmine. <laughs> this turned into quite a, <laughs> quite an adventure. <laughs> Uh, Jenny smiles at you, and you can see, uh, she has lost a few teeth from her old age, and one of her front teeth is kind of a mossy green. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, but she smiles and she goes, I think I have to. Oh. Thank you. Uh, and she turns around, goes to her counter, pulls down a small brown bottle. And, and she, she like grabs a few things from around her, her kitchen slash workspace. And she brings something back to you. Uh, it smells faintly floral. Uh, it's it's a very subtle thing, but uh, since it sounded like you couldn't really make up your mind, she gave you something that is just overall pleasant. It, it smells like flowers and like like the open plain. Just you're out in the wilderness. I love that. What is this? Perfume. A lot of perfume. Oh. Mm. You have a perfume that's perhaps like, like lavender and lemongrass. I could do that. I. She turns around and she uh, does her little mixture and she hands you a similar brown bottle. Uh, smells like lavender and lemongrass. That'll be five gold, please. Perfect. I always smell like lilac, so I'm good. Thanks, oh. though. <laughs> what? She, they don't have a lot of social skills. <laughs> uh, Cloud, could you just make a perception check for me? Sure. Uh, um, 15. Nothing for now. I hate that! <laughs> Anyways, um, I say I kind of like look, I kind of like look into, the, look into like the um, holes and kind of see that like it's possibly getting darker. I'm like, guys, we probably need to get going. As a, do you have something to do? Oh yes, right. you have a mission. Okay, um, thank you so much. Of course, have a nice day, dearies. Thank you for the thank potion. You. And I'd like oh. to put a little bit behind my ears and on my wrists. Sure. Uh, as you're leaving, Cloud, you could almost swear that your nose is a little bit bigger than it was before. Hello? That, what does that mean? <laughs> what is it? I, I mean, I'm so scared. Why is it bigger? <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I hear and I hear that. And I'm like, Cloud, what? What's getting bigger? My, Isn't okay. that what the potion does? <laughs> You're gonna think I'm crazy, but I think my nose got bigger. Did you drink some of my potion? No, that you bought that. I didn't. Yeah, know. I know, but like, maybe you want to try it or something. But I don't need help in that. Area. Um, are you sure? Are you sure? None I'm of you can tell any difference. What? No one None else can... can tell any difference. Just you, Cloud. That's okay. Do oh. I feel any like magic? Do you? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna die. Okay. <laughs> that, can, I, can I make an investigation check on his nose? Sure. It's because I'm so. She's like, what are you? It's doing? like a little bit bigger. It's like not no. Are you sure? It doesn't look bigger. It. I'm very scared right now. Someone help me. I. I mean, I. I. I, I, I wish I could help you. It's but Twenty-two. I, doesn't look any bigger to you. Oh no! Am I going crazy? Well, so you take your way along the path. Yeah, exactly. You're just gonna keep moving. I'm just gonna keep touching my nose, and I also want to kind of keep a lookout for <laughs> anything suspicious because I'm so scared. Sure, uh, make a perception check with disadvantage because you're so distracted by your nose. That's only fair. <laughs> That's a natural one. Looks like you're outside. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's my nose. <laughs> so you make your way back. You make your way back to the main road and it's it's starting to approach midday by now. Okay. Let's head on our way. Let's get going. We should yeah, probably get this let's, done soon. Let's go. All right. Let's so, go. where are you going? Oh, wait, before, can I make a. I want to make a perception check to see if we're still being followed. Oh, yeah. Cool. That's a thing. Go ahead and roll. <laughs> I'll roll too. Uh, that's a nine. 
Doesn't look like anything to you. Can I roll? Sure, you can all roll. What are we talking about? What are we looking at? 12. 12. 12 or you roll? 10. Should should I roll as well, or am I still that one? Yeah, I'm still too distracted by my nose. (laughs) Does it 12 seem distracted by, like, what is going on with him? You don't see anything. Okay. Uh, Which direction do we need to go for the seed? Did we ever get a name of a place where he thought... We we did, right? Yes. I think I have it somewhere. It was... Someone mentioned the temple, and then also a place where they thought... Yeah, the uh, one seed is the ruins uh, of a temple called Berez. Other was taken by the Druids to Yester Hill. So do we want to go to Yester Hill and fight the Druids or go to the temple called Berez? Let's let's fight. I will add, you don't know where Berez is. Yeah. Do we know where Yester Hill is? Yes. So yeah. let's do Yester Hill first. Let's go Yester Hill because it kills yeah. two birds with one stone. The Mardikobs pointed out where Yester Hill is because it's just south of the winery. Cool. Okay, let's do that. Cool. Cool. Head out! So you start to walk along the road. Uh, It's a very... It's the same road that you've walked before. Uh, There are trees on either side of you as the forest very quickly overtakes the the old Svalich Road, as you now know it to be called. Uh, after about an hour, you pass over pass over an old stone bridge. You pass over a few times now. Uh, though I will add, it's your first time walking through this area by yourself. Without Irina. No. Guys, what do we do about her? We're just gonna have to... I miss I her. Yeah, we have to. I don't think Strahd is gonna hurt her, but I don't think so either. But but who's to stop him from making her a vampire to be with him forever? I don't know. Well, we should be, but I think we have to do all the stuff that that Vistani woman said. I also think we're not strong. I also think we're not strong enough to fight him. Like severely, severely I wish we had some way to like contact her. I think that's gonna be something that I look out for. Yeah, yeah we should we should probably look out for something like that. If we can. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, figure out a way to contact Madam Ava or. or um, Mar- well, both. Someone to just con- contact people long distance. Probably Irina too, just to check in on her. All right. Uh, you continue along the road, uh, and. Cloud, you know the way pretty well. You are in the middle of the forest. This is your territory. You know what you're doing. Uh, You guide them through the forest, and it's relatively uneventful. Uh, You hear howls of wolves that are uncomfortably close, but you manage to avoid them. Uh, Eventually, you reach a very familiar-looking signpost. Uh, The road makes a kind of X intersection. Uh, The signpost uh, has... Uh, has one branch that points towards the southeast, or sorry, southwest, uh, that says the Wizard of Wines Winery. So Where are we on this map? Uh, you're right around here. Okay, cool. So we go to the Wizard of Wine. Yeah. Oh, uh, and- I need all of you to make a perception check again. Do I have to still have disadvantage? I feel like I've gotten over it by now. Yes, Non-natural over. 20. Great. Uh, 19. 21. Um, Ooh, good rolls, good rolls. 13. All of you are able to notice this. Uh, what? Uh, as you turn and start to make your way towards where the Wizard of Wines is, uh, the sky goes a lot darker than it was before. The clouds have gone from a kind of faint purple to a dark, dark gray. The sun is nowhere to be seen. And as as it does in the distance, uh, Jessamine and Talia are able to notice there's a figure riding by on a very 
dark, ghostly-looking horse with flames rising from its hooves in the air. Flies through the air and goes down southwest. Is it heading towards us, or are we just seeing it? It's not heading towards you. You are right around here. You see the figure on the horse flying through the air above the trees, moving this way. Is this the same... Can we get an idea if it was the same figure who was following us earlier? Uh, it is not. Yeah, I didn't think so. I kind of see the dark sky and I'm like, guys, the sky is getting darker. Hold on. That usually is. Uh, maybe we should hide um, for a second. And I like look at Talia and I see that she's like seeing what I'm seeing and I'm like, Maybe we should just get into the trees until this passes. What are you seeing? Um, nothing of concern right now. Just, um, we should just probably hang out in the trees for a second until the sun comes see, back out. I kind of, I kind of see, like, I'm intelligent enough to see that there is something of concern. And I'm like, yeah, cloud him. And I kind of, like, start shoving him into the trees. I'm like, you, you want to you wanna go see stuff, right? In the <laughs> forest. <laughs> Start pushing him into the forest. Yeah. As you crouch down behind the trees, uh, you wait. It's horribly quiet. There's not even the buzz of any bugs that you've grown used to, or the howls of wolves have stopped even. It's horribly quiet. And you wait. And you wait. Mm-hmm. You wait for probably a half hour, sitting behind the trees, and the darkness is not letting up. However, uh, the figure on the flying horse is nowhere to be seen. Should should we start up again? I have a feeling that um, the sun isn't going to come out for uh, quite a bit. So maybe we should just proceed with caution. Tom's good. I, I agree. I agree. And I kind of ready myself for a fight. Yeah. You climb your way out of the trees and make your way back onto the road cautiously. And as you do, Talia. Uh, you are able to notice coming from coming from the east very slowly walking towards you is a figure wearing heavy armor okay guys um there's a there's a a guy following us again um okay does he look like the one that's been following us or does he look different he has heavy armor on so i'm i'm assuming it's not the same person because that means they're stealthy. They would be stealthy. And he's just approaching us, so. Um, I kind of see this. I, I'm like a little wary, but I like walk to the front of the party and I ask, Hello, who are you? You get no response, and the figure continues to walk closer towards you. Um. Maybe we should just go. I don't really want to run into something like we did last time. I also would suggest that we avoid violence. I just think that maybe we should continue on our way to um, our activities today, and if it continues to be a bother, then we can address it then, but I don't think we should create a problem where there isn't one just yet. As you stand around (laughs) discussing, (laughs) probably 30 feet from you now, yeah, let's start walking. Do I see <laughs> anything else in the trees? You don't see anything else, no. Um, you you see now, as he gets closer, the armor is rusty and old. He clutches a gleaming long sword in one hand over its shoulder. His hand is very pale. I have a strange question. Hmm. Does this look like the full armor set that obeyed Talia in the wizard tower. 
similar, but not exactly the same. Okay. 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 Uh, it I continues see. to march towards you. Uh, the figure, uh, as it grows closer, draws its long sword out and kind of points it at you. Yeah. Before- Self. I I kind of I kind of uh, I kind of am like guys he's pointing his sword at us and and I kind of like whip, I kind of like uh, unsheath my falchion. Do we try to get hand. away or do we fight? I think we can try to get away here. If um, we want to get away, I have something that could potentially help. Okay, well, let's as Orson it. unsheaths his sword, the the creature runs towards you, and I would like all of you to roll in. Damn it! Uh, I was gonna use darkness finally. Sorry. We'll do it. We'll do it. Sorry, that was my bad. <laughs> Don't we all stop? No, it's been more than ten minutes. Yeah. All right. Uh, just one second. Yikes. Do we Ooh. have uh, 25 to 20? 23. All right. Wow. Okay. Uh, 15 to 20? 15. All right. Uh, 10 to 15? 5 to 10? 8. Oh, oh shit. All right. <laughs> so the creature lunges towards you. Uh, now that it's gotten close for you to see, it looks similar to zombies that you have fought before in this area. It is going to run right up to you, Orson, and bring its long sword down overhead. Shit, you be going first, though. Uh, I'm not going to do anything. <clears throat> what do I do? I, there's, I don't know what to do. I have an idea. Oh, wow. Uh, does the 16 hit? I think it barely hits me. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Brit! All right. Uh... It brings the longsword down, and it deals 13 damage. Uh. <laughs> Damn. Crazy. Crazy. And then, uh, after slashing at you, uh, reaches up and bashes you with, your, with its shield. Uh. Uh, and it is going to miss with a 12. Nice. Uh, and it's going to... <sighs> <laughs> he when he slashes him like ow jeez uh, Cloud it's your turn I don't want it to be my turn I don't know what to do um I guess you can so... hold your initiative if you want <sighs> I'm you gonna... can hold an action yeah that's what I mean so... I'm gonna I'm going to use the dodge action. Um, I c- it gives them disadvantage a- against tax against me, right? Yes, that is correct. Okay, I'm going to draw my weapons. Bonus action. Hunter's mark. All right. And I'm going to I'm going to stand right in front of Jasmine and take the dodge action. All right. And that is my turn. Jasmine, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, draws his weapons and stands at the ready in front of you. I um, present my holy symbol and use my second channel divinity per long rest to turn undead. And it All has right. to make a wisdom saving throw. Say don't hit it. Say don't hit it. Uh, what is the DC on that? 13. It succeeds. Okay. Yeah. Um, it, it, Fifteen. So as you uh, you present your holy symbol and it just at you and readies itself even more. 
is it, is it dark? It's dark, right? It is pretty dark, yes. I'm <laughs> going to start flying. <laughs> All right, uh, you begin to levitate behind Cloud. Cool. To someone standing in front of him from far away, it might look like you're standing on his shoulders. Awesome. That's everything. Rip, I really wish that channel divinity had worked. Okay, that's that's my turn. Okay. All right, Talia. Okay. Um, okay, I'm going to cast Firebolt, as I do. All right. As one does. As one Just does fire. when one has an affinity for fire. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. That's a non-natural 20. All right, that hits. Uh, Orson, I would like you to make a dexterity check to dodge out of the way. Oh, yeah, because he'd be right in yeah, front of I've, I've been running from him. Oh, and I'm gonna I'm casting it through my um, now my arcane firearm, so I get to add another D10. D8 of damage. D yep. Is, it, is that a saving throw? Uh, yes, a saving throw. And it still doesn't matter. Probably a nine. <laughs> oh no! All right. Uh, the fireball hits you in the shoulder, uh, and you are going to take half damage, uh, and then the creature will take the rest. Oh, so you're hey. splitting the damage between them. That's fair. Yeah, that's fine. Because you do be right in front of it. But I got a pretty high score, so wouldn't I be... Yes. Uh, aim be pretty good? Your aim is pretty good. However, it will still hit Orson, because he isn't able to dodge out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. That's not up to you, because you got that's it. Good. Like yeah, that, is, that is on Orson, not that's on... That is on me. That is on me. It ain't your fault, baby girl. So it's 17 damage. All right. Uh, so oh Orson, God, Orson and the creature will take nine fire damage. I'll take eight damage. Jesus Christ. It's okay. Yeah. Dude. And then That's as a okay. bonus action, I'm going to uh, create a force ballista eldritch cannon. Sure. Uh, Give me the cannon. You fire your, uh, you fire your fire bolt out. It explodes from the end of your wand. And... This is your first time using the arcane firearm, and so you didn't know how fucking big the fireball was going to be in comparison to its normal size. And so Orson, standing up after reeling from the last attack, it just catches his shoulder, and the rest of it goes flying into the face of the undead creature. Before. I'm, I turn around, and I look at Talia, and I'm like, your love for fire is just too much. <laughs> just too much. <laughs> Um, uh, Orson, that makes it your turn. <laughs> uh, We're sort of in battle here, bro, so... I'm gonna... I just think my... we all need to calm down. <laughs> nope. We don't. Yeah. We're getting attacked by a zombie. I'm and going dang. to... I'm going to run back. Hopefully he doesn't have opportunity to attack, but... He I'm will. Gonna I'm gonna run okay. back here towards Cloud. I'm right next uh, to you. Cloud is oh, right next to you. Can you okay. disengage or something? He can, yeah. but that would be his action. Yeah, yeah um, that would be my action. Do you have any bonus action spells? I do. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast Expeditious Retreat. All right. That's that's four damage. <laughs> Ow. Ow! I like really cut myself. I really cut myself deep there. Um, really be a tank. <laughs> uh, I'm going to cast it on myself, and this spell allows you to move at an incredible pace once you cast a spell, yep. and then as a bonus action on each of your turns until the spell ends, you can take the dash action. Um, I'm, yes. As as an action, I'm going to use a disengage. I'm going to use disengage. Um, All right, where are you going to move? Uh, I'm going to move... Where's the map? Where's the map? Where's the map? I'm gonna move right behind. Oh my god! Ooh. I'm gonna move right behind Jessamine. Never mind. Okay. All right. 
So you do that. Uh, you move behind, uh, and the creature just kind of like looks around. Um, everyone, because your passive perception is high enough, you can see its glowing red eyes from behind its full plate helmet are full of hate. Hmm. This is another thing summoned by the cult? I don't think so. They don't really deal in undead. They were dealing with It's going to lunge towards you, Talia. Oh, that's fine. And it's going to bash you with its shield. Ba, ba, ba. Ba. Ba, ba. Did you say 28? Yes, I did. <laughs> that's a nat 19 plus 9. Uh, oh my God. Yeah. That hits. All right. Um, I need you to make a strength saving throw. <laughs> and you take six damage. Okay. Oh, he's trying to grapple me, isn't he? Oh, no. My dice fell off the table. <laughs> ah, that's a nine. <sighs> All right. Uh, and how much damage did I take? Six? Six. Uh, as he hits you with a shield, you hear almost like a gong noise as it clean across your face, uh, and it knocks you prone. Hmm. Fun times. He then uh, switches his long sword around and plunges it down towards you. Oh no! Hey, that's the T. Is, is she prone? Does it? It's disadvantage. It's disadvantage. Uh, he has advantage. advantage. Okay. It is a melee attack. But it's not an auto crit. That's only if you're unconscious. No. Uh, you only auto crit if an enemy is stunned or unconscious. There we go. That's right. Yeah. Um, and he is glad that he has the advantage because he rolled a nat one and a six. Uh, does a 15 hit? <sighs> yes, it does. Wow. Plus nine to hit. Is dexterity on it? I mean, I have plus uh, eight. Well, he hit. went very low on his damage, so you take eight. Okay. Um, does my ring kick in at all? My ring of regeneration. I forgot about your ring. Haha. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Not right now. Okay. Uh, Cloud, it is your turn. Okay. If if she's prone and I get behind him, does that still give me flanking advantage? No, it does not. Okay. Well, However, I'm still gonna to, do if you were to move to this side, you would get flanking advantage because of Jessamine. I'll do that. I'll move myself here, and I'm going to make my full three attacks with Dreadful Strike and Hunter's Mark. With advantage on each attack. I have this better do some serious shit. Okay. Um, that's a 17 to hit. Miss. Miss? <laughs> He's um, fully that's a flipped 26 and... to hit. That hits. 25, excuse me. It's still and... hits. It's still one. <laughs> uh, uh, 26 to hit. Yeah, they both hit. Okay, so two out of my three. Okay. One Sayax and one Whip. Okay. That's what I was about to ask, actually. So, and then plus, I still do. So it's Whip, Sayax, Hunter's Mark, and Dreadful Strikes. Yes. All that damage. And then plus that eight because I hit twice. Okay. Um, twenty-two damage. Um, actually, uh, could you tell me the damage to both of those separately? Mm. Okay, I rolled a two on the whip, so that's six with the whip. All right. And then I rolled um six on the CX, so it was ten. And then All I right. rolled. Oh shoot! What did I roll on the the other two? Well, it was um, twenty two total. Yes, so that's uh, fourteen. So it was the hunter's mark and the dreadful strikes to death together did eight. All right, cool. Uh, so as the whip wraps around the creature's legs, because it is much taller than you, yeah. uh, you wraps around the one leg and you pull it towards you. Uh, and as you bring down uh, the Sayax, uh, he drops the long sword, and so it only digs into his leg about probably half as much as it would. Oh, he parried me, that little bitch. Uh, that's pretty rare. That would be... 
He takes 15 damage. Yeah, there okay. Are not, there are not many creatures that can parry. It's pretty interesting. Jasmine, if you got something before this, please. <laughs> I do. Jasmine, it's your turn. Guiding Bolt. All right. Oh my god, I'm not too crazy. 23? Ooh. Yeah, that is. Yes! <laughs> Thank Ooh. God! Yeah, yeah. Oh. oh, and the next strike has advantage! Okay. Um, okay. Six. Ten. Eleven. Guys, this is ridiculous. 16. Why is this happening to us? 21 damage, and it is radiant damage. Great, good to know. Damn, girl. As he reaches down to parry uh, Cloud's swipe with the Sayax, he's distracted, and you launch a guiding bolt, and it just <laughs> into his neck. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Cool. Uh, he takes the damage and just turns towards you, and he mutters something in a language that I don't think any of you understand. Yeah, probably not. I'm gonna look at. Is it under Talia might. Talia knows a um, lot of languages. Orson, you understand it. What language is it? <laughs> He's it's probably Abyssal. 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 Ah. Uh, and he, you're not able to catch everything that he says. Uh, your Abyssal's a bit rusty because no one really yeah. speaks it. That's true. <laughs> and he's, you catch the word servants. Oh my God, it's the fucking cult again. And you also catch the word devil. Uh, Did we just burn that, that house to the ground? Okay, so servants, devil. Okay. I can Tell have that. It's your turn. Okay. I'm gonna do firebolt again. <sighs> Luckily, Orson's not in the way, and I'm gonna cast it through my arcane <laughs> firearm. <laughs> All right. Do I have to jump out of the way? No, you don't. Okay. You're not. It and doesn't I... deal splash damage. Orson was just directly, directly in front of their death. Oh, that's yay! Fair. That's really good. Let's see. Oh, and you don't even have to get up from being prone to do that, because you don't have disadvantage on it. <laughs> does a 26 hit? Nice. Yes, it does. Yes. Yes. Okay, so two. Nice. That's like almost max damage. That's a 26, that's 26 fire damage. Nice. Oh, thank God. As it recoils and looks up towards Jessamine, this fireball just poof into his chest and it looks back down at you. Would you like to stand up? Oh yeah, I would. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, a yeah, cool thing maybe. down. <laughs> Yeah, you you stand back up. It it takes half your movement, but I don't think you were planning on moving anyway. No. And then as a bonus action, I'm going to use my force ballista. All right. See if this baby will hit. You love that. Oh no, she does not. That's yeah, a poor baby. Yeah, she tried. That's a ten. You know what? Yeah. Cammy tried so hard. She really did. It just right past him. You know what, I, I, got, I got a good shot in, so, yeah. You guys remember, 17 doesn't hit, so. <laughs> Thank uh, God, dude, if my guiding bolt didn't hit, I would be so pissed. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, Orson, it's your turn. Guys, we're not uh, even to the druids yet. I'm going to, but yeah. I have my staff for the black. Oh, you do? Yes. My modifier is so good, because it was a 10, but I rolled a 2. Orson. Yeah, um, I'm thinking. I... I mean, well... I think, as... As my action, um, I'm going to... Well, cut myself again. Um... I take four damage. Jesus Christ, I am. I am not. I am not looking good right now. Anyways, um, I'm going to. I'm going to run up the cloud and touch him and cast protection of good and evil. 
Um, so he gets he gets advantage on attack. Uh, the creatures of those types have disadvantage on attack rolls against the target and can't be possessed, frightened, or feared. Um, if <clears> it's uh, if it's celestials, aberrations, elementals, faith, fiends, and oh. um Oh no, B, don't come in here. Uh, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna touch him and then I'm gonna run back up. Um, I have 60 feet of movement, so. No, why? And I think that's it. I don't think I have a bonus action spell slot left. Yeah. Uh, you um, do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and you only have 30 feet of movement, but as a bonus action, you can dash. Yeah. That's a loud beat. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Is it still um, in here? I just heard it. You heard it go. Yeah. (laughs) It wanted to play D&D so (laughs) bad. No, no, no. It's in my room. Anyways, anyways, I'm going to, as a bonus action, I'm just going to dash. Oh, my God. I don't know what to do about this. I heard that incorrectly at first, and I heard, as my bonus action, I'm just going to die. So I was like, what? (laughs) I was like, why? I'm just going to die. So the... The creature standing in front of you uh, is going to utter again in abyssal. Uh, and you can hear Orson, you understand the word heal. Heal. Okay, uh, cool. Sorry, b has gone. I think Cloud, he's going to heal. I think he might heal. Cloud, you watch as the cut that you just made on his leg starts to close. Guys, this guy's the tank. Um, then it is going to attack you again, Talia. Um, I would like you to... Hmm. All right. Uh, it is going to disengage, Mm -hmm. and it's going to move back. Does that mean we can't opportunity attack? Yeah, because he disengaged. Then for its bonus action, uh, it is going to use uh, a special ability. Uh, It's going to reach out and make a claw towards you, Talia, and pull, and everything around you goes dark for a second. Uh, Make a strength check for me, please. Jesus Christ. As a reaction, can we, like, grab her? Nope. No. Oh, what was the roll? Oh, you failed? All yeah. Right. Uh, everything around you goes dark, and you see just shadows flying past you, and suddenly you are right in front of him as he makes a longsword attack. Uh, does a 15 hit? Yes. Right? It's okay. okay, guys. Uh, you take seven damage. This party is so unequipped for anything. Oh, that's not, not true. Too good, guys. I think we're I think we're all very well equipped. This monster just freaking over. Um, Cloud, it's your turn. Okay. Running over. Is she still prone? No. She's Okay. Getting behind him. Three attacks again. I have advantage, right? right? Uh, if you're flanking, yes. Okay. Oh, God. Uh, 16. Misses. That was with my Seax, so this is my whip. Um, 25. That hits. And this is my second Seax. Um, 25. That also hits. Okay. So those I uh, two attacks hit. Yep. With and then please bar. tell me the damage separately. Yes, I got you. Okay. So with my whip, five damage, right? It's plus four. Yeah. Five damage with the whip. All right. Uh do you want to roll Hunter's Mark on that one too? Okay. And um uh so six with Hunter's Mark. That's like All with right. the whip and Hunter's Mark. Great. Um, and then the Seax was eight damage. And then the Dreadful Strikes was five. All right. Uh, again, uh, as you make this attack, he whips around and is able to 
block it somewhat, but you make a giant gash across one of the weak points in the armor of his arm. Guys, he do be blocking me. Yes, I mean, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, I'm going to fly over. <laughs> and um I was going to, but now everyone's by him and that won't help anything. I'm going to I'm going to take out my dagger and prick myself and cast Bane and he has to make a charisma saving throw. Uh, I'm pretty sure he fails. He rolled a nat 3. <laughs> awesome. So now for all of his attacks as long as I don't cast another concentration spell or have to, or miss a concentration check. He has to roll a d4 and subtract that number from his attack rolls. Cool. Good to know. Nice. Campaign. Such a good spell. Yeah. Talia, it's your turn. Okay. <sighs> Doing the same thing, but <laughs> you have shield, right? Yeah. This has has We've been mentioned. using it, baby. Yeah, I know. He just has such a high. Yeah, he has such a high like DC though. That's so. why I haven't been using it because I'm like I don't know if there's a point to it. But he keeps getting 15s. But you know, yeah. that hit my computer. And that fell off the table. It just doesn't want to hold. Sometimes it just doesn't work. <laughs> uh oh. That's the 14. No. Um, so the fireball yeah, doesn't work, but we still got our... Force Ballista. Ballista, which you're might... Still new, you're still new to the arcane firearm, and so as you point your wand directly at his helmet, uh, you can see the runes that you carved this morning light up, like, in progress as it's about to cast, and the recoil just makes it go... Poof. That's okay. Let's see if I can get it with the Ballista. <gasps> That's a nat 20. Great. Plus eight. Yes. Yep. So, so uh, roll double my double damage. Double so, damage. So, so d8 and then add the plus five, I guess. Yes. Or d8. Ugh. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Come on, more. Don't, ugh, that. That's a good thing for you guys. <laughs> Twenty-seven damage. Yes, Great. yes, ma'am. Uh, as your fireball goes wide, you can see a grin kind of rise behind the face mask, and then he just poof. <laughs> I'm duck and roll. <laughs> oh, did the fireball hit? No, the no. fireball didn't. But the Cammy, the cannon did. Him back, like a certain amount of feet. So be yep, careful. It would push him back five feet, so he's just gonna bump into cloud. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so both Cloud and the creature are pushed back five feet. Is there a save that I could do to like, eh, it's fine. Uh, you are much smaller than this very heavy, medium-sized creature wearing full plate armor. We're good. Yeah, no, it's, I get it. It's... <laughs> so can we... Does that count as an action to make like a check to see how he's doing uh you can make an insight check on him okay. i'm scared 16. uh he's not doing great um great. not like on death's door again but uh he's really not doing that well uh you can also Much damage see just the bitter hatred in his eyes as he mutters out something in abyssal. Danny, you're pretty far away now. Uh, yeah, it's 30 feet though, I was measuring it. You're able to catch, he doesn't really have vocal cords. <laughs> uh, you're able to catch uh, the words, will not be by devil. Hmm. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> 
Just um, kill it. Kill it with fire. Um, yeah, which is my plan, actually. Um, I'm, course going, is your... I'm gonna run. I think this is max 30 feet, so I'm like within his range now. Um, I'm gonna use my falchion. I'm gonna. Oh god, this might be controversial, but. You're I'm about going... to cut yourself again, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Uh, two damage this time. Oh, god. But now I have lightning, right? Um, cast it on my falchion, and then that's a bonus action. Mm -hmm. Using the actual action, I'm possibly flame bait. Green cool. Flame blade. Just so you know, uh, green flame blade makes it so you only have one swing. That's with fine. Sp That's fine. All right. Um, I'm going to hit it. Uh, does a 18 hit? Does not. Does not. Okay. Uh, you sword alights with this. Thick green fire, and lightning is crackling through it. And you wind up to attack, and he just sidesteps, and you go wide. He said, "Nope." Oh. Since you're in front of him, uh, the creature is going to attack you. I might die here. I'm in danger. Don't say that. Uh, I'm in danger. I'm in danger. Being small, the best. They don't notice you. Bash you with its shield. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, that hits. Uh oh. I'm gonna die. This is the need part to where I'm gonna get hurt. Strength saving throw. Uh, what? Uh, what saving throw? A strength saving throw. Uh, shield does seven damage to you. He said, "Do you wanna fight me? <laughs> Do you wanna catch oh, these hands?" I got. I got. I got. I got 17. All right. Um, nice. The shield does bash you back, but you're able to catch yourself before falling. However, right as you catch yourself, he makes a long sword attack. I like Oh, this I is that. close. What is your armor class? Is it 15? It's 16. <laughs> Oh, All right, he misses. Oh, oh my god. god. Guys, I am literally dangerously. Maybe past. this is the time to drink one of those mystery potions. I um, say do it. Uh, yeah. He misses you, and again, he utters out in abyssal. Uh, and you catch more words of that same phrase. Uh, he says, I will not be defeated. Yes, you will. Well. That, that creates a problem for us, sir. You see? <laughs> uh, the full phrase that you're able to catch is, I will not be defeated by devil. We ain't the devil, baby. By, or or is it, I won't be defeated, like, by the devil, like, by the devil. I he won't be I defeated can... by <laughs> devil. <laughs> there are words in between there that you don't understand. That's so good. Love that for us. Hi, how are ya? Cloud, it's your turn. Yeah. I'm just gonna do three attacks. I'm still flanking, right? Yes, you are. Okay, I'm just gonna do my three attacks. Because both Hunter's Mark and Dreadful Strikes as well. I just want to always make that clear. Yes, I do. Okay. Um, so one was a natural one. Good thing I have advantage. Um, that one, 19 just barely hits. That's an oh, oh, God. 19. 12 Jesus. plus 7 is 9. Nope, 12 plus 7 is 19. Thank you. Just checking. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first one with my Sayax. Second one, it definitely hits 24. All right. Um, And then third one, that was my whip, and this one's my second Sayax, is 25. Nice. Cool. Um, On your attack with the whip, I'm going to need you to make a constitution saving throw. Huh? Th thank your party. <laughs> Excuse me? Um, ooh, um, 16. All right. That's pretty good. Thank you. Okay. So that's uh, two CX, one whip, Hunter's Mark, Dreadful Strikes, plus 12. Yes. And tell me the damage of each yes. attack. 
separate. I got you. Oh, that was out of it. <gasps> oh, those are not bad rolls. Okay, so the whip is eight damage. All right. Plus two from Hunter's Mark is ten. All right. Um, the uh, oh no, oh no, sorry. So it's eight for the whip, then plus six for the Hunter's Mark. I had to pull out another d6 because I didn't have enough dice. So um, eight plus six is fourteen. Fourteen. So fourteen for uh the whip and the Hunter's Mark. Then the uh. Uh, Sayax is nine damage. Uh, add dreadful strikes to that first Sayax attack. So nine plus three is twelve. twelve. All right. And then the second Sayax is six damage. All right. Uh, as you bring the whip around, he's able to catch it with his sword. Uh, it just kind of like whoosh, wraps around the blade. I hate that. Uh, uh, it deals half damage to him. Uh, then the other ones deal full damage. Okay. This guy... That would be 26 damage. Yeah. I'm, I'm not mad at it. I rolled really good for all that. Perry is so strong, dude. Crazy. Perry, like, every That's my turn. Jessamine, it's your turn. Welcome to Mystery Potion Roulette. Are you actually? <laughs> oh, bitch, you know it. You have one. So, I have uh, two. Go ahead. Ooh. Ooh. She's spicy. I roll a D100, right? Which is yes. two. Okay. Two D10. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Wait, this is so good. Okay. Uh, the one with the zeros is the tens, and the one without is the ones. Oh, oh cool. 31. All right. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is a fun one for you. Okay. Uh, Yay! As soon as you finish drinking the potion, you like look around excitedly at your friends. <gasps> they notice anything different, and um, you turn green. I turn green. Like a horrible dark green. Excellent. Oh. Is, is that, that it? it? Yes. For now. For now. <laughs> she she said okay. there's no other effect. Was this that a bonus is... action? Is chugging a mystery potion? Yes. Uh, I will. Uh, I don't think we ever established that because we haven't had to use a potion yet. But I will say potion as a bonus action. All right. Of... Thank you. You really do be Alphaba now. I really do be <laughs> Alphaba. Oh my god. You're and just I... Me too. <laughs> I fly. <laughs> <laughs> I fly forward and I um. No one. Uh... Your hair and your clothes also turn the same dark green. Oh, interesting. Oh, I hope that's not permanent. <laughs> and I use Toll the Dead, so he has to make a wisdom saving throw. All right. Does, does it do anything for that's undead? What's the what? Uh, 20. Okay. None now. Oh. Okay. Yeah. That's it. And I am green. <laughs> uh, mean I'd like you to make an intelligence saving throw. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. She do be dumb. Um, five. <laughs> you have a really strange craving to start eating the dirt. No. Oh, no. All right. Awesome. Cool. I don't have an. I have movement. Um, start moving towards some dirt. <laughs> Just the ground. You lower yourself. I stop flying. You, you float your way off of the road so that you can start shoveling. Oh my God. Mean, what are you doing? Dirt. Uh, this might be your next turn. I'm going to have you roll another saving throw to see if you actually eat it or not. Okay. But. Okay. That's, that's that. That's your turn. This is some shit Cloud would do. Oh, yeah, what your is turn. doing? Okay, um, I'm going to switch it up a little bit. Do it. And I'm going to cast Catapult as a second level spell. Whoa! Oh, yes. Catapult I'll take, a, I'll take a little rock from the ground and kind of shoot it at him, so he has to make a dexterity saving throw of 16. Oh. Alright, so uh, he rolled an 11. I don't know what his modifier is. Two. He fails. Great. Eight. And I don't think I can't add my arcane firearm to that, can I? No, you can't. I didn't think so. 
since you are casting the spell on an object and the object is what's flying towards him, if you were creating the spell, like, if you were casting Fireball, then you would get to add another D8. Um, blue, if I nice. was green, I would die. If I was green, I would die. <laughs> Wait, that's 18 damage. All right, cool. Uh, he recoils uh, from the... Uh, just against his head and it's like his helmet is vibrating like a bell then as a bonus action let's use the cannon again sure we stand the cannon another nat 20 so that's a 28 yes queen heck yes and i'm just over here eating dirt <laughs> stop it <laughs> oh my god why is he eating dirt what is this girl doing dirt oh. looks yummy <laughs> Mm, dirt tea. <laughs> After this, you have to make dirt tea. So that's Why 20 is she green? 20 Why what? is she green? 20 damage. All right. That's a lot of damage. Green he with really envy. He's not doing well. He's like got his sword impaled into the road and is using it to help him stand up at this point. Orson, it's your turn. Uh, I'm going to yeah, hit him twice here. I'm allowed to do that, right? Yep, uh, you are allowed, if you make an attack action, you can hit twice, and then bonus action, you can hit a third time uh, with your primary weapon. But if you use green flame blade, that is your action, and as a part of that action, you can make <laughs> one attack. Oh, so, he was knocked back five feet again, sorry, Cloud. That's okay. Oh, yeah. It's okay. So you'll have to move into melee range to hit him, but that's no big deal. Question, is, green, is green flame blade active or is it per turn? Is it still it's active per turn. Or is it per turn? Okay, so sorry, okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hit it twice and then as a bonus action. <laughs> um, this is gonna be I love catapult. First hit, fourteen does not hit. No, it does not. That does not hit. Third attack. That does not hit. <laughs> You're just swiping like mad at him, and then after after you like stop and catch your breath, you realize that he's been pushed back, and you have to take a step forward. Yeah, this is pretty sad. Anyways, I might just um, die here. This might be the end. <laughs> as you as you take a step towards him, uh, you hear him mutter out, um, "Only fools." <laughs> Only fools are the devil. Okay. Do we tell it, him we don't? Valid. <laughs> yeah, like we we're not with like, him. Or is, are you translating this for us, or are you just hearing it yourself? You're just keeping it to yourself, man. Yeah, <laughs> Y'all don't need to know this. Yeah. So far, I'm, I don't think he's told you. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just. Uh, Orson, uh, he bashes you with his shield again. Okay, cool. Uh, a twenty hits, non-natural. Of course. Uh, that's seven, no, eight damage from the shield. I need you to make a save. Uh, it doesn't okay, matter. No, good berry, it's fine. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. I'm in, uh, I'm in saves. I'm in rolls. Oh, shit. Yeah. Um, well, he's going to finish his combo on you, and he's going to make a longsword attack down at you. And Probably just me is eating dirt. Uh, he hits. I can shove a good berry in your mouth. Uh, let's see how much damage is that? We might lose Orson. Stop! Hopefully don't go back to character. Don't uh, joke that about is, that. That is twelve damage, Orson. Twelve damage. So that's just one death saving throw, right? Yeah, that is. Uh, that means that's a failure. That's a failure. Right? Yeah, you fail a death saving throw for each attack. Okay, that's one failure. Um, he's gonna mutter something out again. But none of you understand it. Sounds good. Are well, you gonna roll for the restroom? The restroom? If it comes to Yeah, go ahead. Oh, yes, I will be rolling them for you. Oh no. Okay. Just kill him. Can I just... feed Orzin a good berry? Is that like a thing that I could do? <laughs> when he's know. unconscious? You can try, but I don't know how do... it'll do for him. Well, it does regain. You get regain one hit point. I know. 
I would just I would just kill him. I would okay. Just kill him. I would just um, do I still count as flanking? Uh, since he's unconscious, no. Okay. So you have do you only have one failed death save, right? So far, yeah. Cool. I'm gonna just try to kill him. Three attacks, full shebang. All right, go for it. It's the axe one. That's not gonna hit. It's a like a sixteen. So, second one. That one's better. Uh, this is with my whip. It's a twenty. It hits. Yep. <laughs> Third one. Okay. Uh, another nineteen. That hits right. Nineteen is. The... Uh, yes and no. Um, he's going to parry that one and that is not going to do any damage. Okay, so one attack with Hunter's Mark, with my whip, and all, uh, since I did do my three attacks infused with Dreadful Strike, I get that damage because I hit once, right? Yes. Okay, so... It, uh, Dreadful Strike applies on the first attack that hits. Okay, cool, so... Okay, um, for, so for, for the whip, it does six plus five for Hunter's Mark, so that's 11. Um plus one for a dreadful strikes is 12. All right. Uh, he is really, really not doing well. Dang it, it was just one more of those hit. Jessamine, I would like you to make an intelligence safe. Yes. Can I have to yell at her Ooh. and be like, Jessamine, we need your help. 18. Nice. Uh, as you're like shoveling up a handful of dirt to put it in your mouth, you're like, there are probably other priorities right now. <laughs> I would like to try Guiding Bolt again. Um, the range is 120 feet, so I should be able to. Yes, you can cast it. <sighs> Please. He really do be dead. Mm, 22. Yes, Queen! Yeah, that hits. Okay. Shorty crew, let's go! Okay. Shorty crew out here um, trying to kill this guy and eating dirt. And that's 18. The All right. Uh, as you launch off this javelin of light, it impales his head yes. straight through to the other side and is now stuck in a stump on the other side of the road. Oh, man. There's just a hole in the center of his head. Oh. And his body collapses down to the ground. Did I do it? <laughs> oh no. Uh I, Are we out of it? Are we out initiative? of initiative? We're out of initiative. I'd like to try to roll I immediately him over. shove a good berry in Orson's mouth and make him chew it. I'm gonna try it. I spare the dying. Um All right. da, 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 da. I shoved it in. Yeah, and that is 19 medicine. Yeah, uh, he is stabilized. Cloud, your good berry, since he is stable, heals him to one hit point. Okay. That's perfect. That's actually okay. good. I, yeah. I bring us all in, and I cast Prayer of Healing. Has and... my Ring of Regeneration done anything? Yes, it has. Uh, you heal. Let me roll. Nice. Uh, you heal 12 HP. And everyone gets 15 HP. Back. I took no damage. Are you guys proud of me? I took no damage, too. I took a lot of damage. I took, I pretty much took all the damage. <laughs> yeah. yeah it. Plus, you were doing damage to yourself. This is probably so. a good point to take a break. Yes, that yeah. is what I was going to say. Should we awesome. consider it a short rest if we want to, like, we like uh, if you want to sit on the road for an hour, yes. I can make uh, Liamon's tiny hut. Oh. We could be safe. And it would last eight hours, so we could really nap as long as we want. Okay, cool. Do you want me to do that? I'm done. So while we take a break, we'll just consider it a short rest so you guys can use hit dice sure. to heal. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, awesome. I'm at full HP now. Okay. We will be back. Thank you. Woo. Okay.
We are back. Hello, everybody. Jessamine is still a salad. Thank you. Well, or yes, is hello, she, everyone. actually? We took uh, a you're short You're not rest. a salad. Okay. But uh, I will say, now that you've had your rest, I need you to make another intelligence save. <laughs> Yay. He's still on deep hurt. Oh, no. <laughs> Five. Uh, well, <laughs> right. uh, we'll say you're already on top of the dirt because you wouldn't want to create the hut in the middle of the road and block it for other people. Right. So you need some dirt. Um... Hang on, let me refresh your page real quick to see how I'm you just like, oh, yeah, yeah, I need to take, I need to do short rest. Uh, uh, you, you gain four temporary hit points. Oh, last you eating the dirt? From eating dirt? I can do that! Oh, shit! Yeah. What? Um, you are now able to photosynthesize until your next long rest. <laughs> Literally, that is my a salad. I've ever heard. That's, That's so, so cool. funny. That's so cool, dude. Wait, but there's and no. Do you guys time. remember? Like, I don't know if any of you play The Sims, but there was that whole like um, <laughs> they had this mod at one point, where it was like an update where you could become a plant sim by eating all of these little seeds. Bro, <laughs> and you just turned green and you lived in a tree. Bro, I really just be out here. You're literally a salad. I'm literally a salad. I love so. it. There's there's <laughs> no sun for you to phot photosynthesize with though. I'm yeah, just gonna lay on the ground. Works a little bit photosynthesis. 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 Okay. Photosynthesis. Let's go. Does Jessamine even know what that word is? Maybe not. She's probably like photosynthesis. All right. <laughs> so, you continue making your way down. Um, Slowly but surely, the road gives way to a dirt path, uh, and you follow it down. Eventually, you find a branch in the, in the path where you could go off to the winery, or you could continue down south to Yester Hill. Uh, I will just give a gentle reminder. Although it is dark, uh, you can tell it's probably growing close to evening. We go to the where we're going to get the seeds, right? So, uh -huh. so we have to go to and one's at yet for hell, but also remember that it's getting dark, so I don't know if there's any, but it's also growing close to night, so but I can also do Liamun's tiny hut again. I have one more slot of that size if we needed to long rest because it can last up to eight hours. So, like, if we needed to camp out somewhere, like, we could be safe, okay. Let's, uh, I guess let's approach Yester Hill. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. <laughs> and I am plant now. You are a plant. You're yeah. a druid. I'm a whole ass druid. And I have my staff to control the blights. What's an ass druid? An ass druid. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, Alright, so you continue down the path. And over the next few hours, the sky grows darker and darker. The the clouds dissipate, and, and you can see the setting sun. It's weird purplish haze that it sets across the sky. As of right now, none of you can see anything that would leave you in immediate danger, but you grow uneasy knowing that you are out in the open at night. You haven't really been thus far. The trail through the thick woods leads to a hill covered with dead grass and, and the cairns of black rock. Dark, ominous clouds gather high above and a single bolt of lightning strikes down against the hilltop. West of the hill, the land, the woods, and the sky vanish into a towering wall of fog. Fog? Mm. Oh, like the one we came through. Yay. As you grow closer to the hill, uh, you can see the same figure on a horse standing atop the hill next to the giant tree. You are pretty far away, so uh, I would say that 
none of you can really tell right now in the dark who or what that figure is or if you recognize them, but the figure stands there or sits there atop his horse. It's flaming hooves smoldering gently in the night. It's a nightlight. <laughs> After a few minutes of observing, you see the horse start to gallop and it rises into the air and goes back to the east. Goodbye. Well, he seems nice. I am plant. <laughs> I feel like Talia would be very, like, interested in what's going on with the plant form because she has all of this, like, information about how the world That's works. That's true, actually. Like, how are you? I, um, don't know, but I want more dirt. Anyways, um... <laughs> can we, cool. Can we, cool. Can we start approaching towards the tree? Yeah, should we... should we go? Sure. Uh, as you approach, <clears throat> the the ring of black rocks surrounding the hill becomes more and more obvious. And since the figure on the horse has left, um, I know that the rocks aren't black on the map, but trust me, they're black. I um, believe you. Yeah. Uh, atop the hill is a ring of large black boulders and, and some smaller rocks that form a sort of makeshift wall that enclose on a small field of dead grass. Uh, <coughs> hang on, let me add you to the map. Boop. 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 And boop. We're tiny. Yeah, it's a big map. <laughs> yeah, this Um... You, there's some smoldering rising from inside the wall. Uh, you can tell that this is where the lightning struck the ring. Um, inside, those of you with dark vision can see a, a ghastly 50-foot tall statue, uh, sort of in the figure of a man, uh, made of tightly woven twigs and packed with black dirt. Yummy. It resembles a towering cloaked man with some fangs coming. Hmm. Stop. Oh. As you approach the ring, uh, you see figures begin to break through the dirt behind the walls and start to crawl up what do they look like? They look similar to the druids that you uh, that you experienced at the winery. Oh God! Rip! I'm clutching my staff because I am a plant. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, no. <laughs> I am a plant. <laughs> there are probably ten of these druids, all standing around and looking at each other uh, before one of them steps into the center and nods. Uh, the one in the center begins to chant. Uh, I don't think any of you can understand it. Is it druidic? Or is it like... Undercommon? I have undercommon. I have undercommon too. Uh, we speak all the same languages, Cloud. None of you can understand <clears throat> can understand the chanting. Um... But as he begins to chant, uh, it turns into like Mongolian throat singing. He's like, wow. and the other nine or ten druids uh, standing around the circle begin to dance around him, pretty like thrashing. Does it seem? Could I make an insight check to like, are we in danger? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in danger! Like, uh, you can certainly try. However, I, I don't know I, if that's information you can gather. Right. Can I call it some sort of nature magic? 13? Like, like, is this threatening? They haven't noticed you. 
Oh, okay, cool. Presumably you're not in any immediate danger. All right. Can I make a history check to see if I've read anything about this kind of... Uh, okay. Sure. Cloud, um, they're druids. You can assume it's nature magic. Can I, like, assess, like, what the purpose of it is? Uh, not from where you're standing. Okay. That's a 25. Wow. Um, as you begin to think back on it, Jessica uh, begins to whisper some sweet nothings in your ear. <laughs> Fire. Uh, something uh, about... Flame. So this is what the old crone has been up to. Oh, oh bone grinder. Um, Morganza? Right? No, not Morganza. A different, um, I wouldn't call her a friend of mine, but we're acquainted. Lissaga. My sound cut out, sorry. Ah. Baba Lissaga. Uh, no! What a name. Wow. Baba, Baba okay. Lissaga. Uh, yes, Cloud? Hags are fey creatures, right? I don't believe so. Not all of them, I don't think. Well, like, the beer hags and green hags and those, I'm pretty sure are. Uh, yeah, they are. Okay. However, that doesn't mean that these hags are. So I don't recognize the name at all? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Baba? Because there's Baba Yaga, and she's a very well-known hag. Um, and Baba anything else would scare the shit out of me! <laughs> I kind of, yeah. I kind of say, like, I, I don't... I share this information with the rest of the party. You said a Baba? A Baba who Baba? I and said... Baba Papa? I don't like the sound of this. I kind of should stop this chanting. Or he I mean, continues like, his chanting. Uh, just stealthily get out of the way. It. And uh, the rest of them continue to dance. I don't know if we should stop I mean, it, it, or it get doesn't closer. seem like we are in immediate danger. I mean, perhaps if we just just stayed calm and just listened to the music. I mean, it's quite nice. I don't know no, about you guys. It's not like, nice. It's scary. This is, yeah, this this could be... Thinking. Do we want to try to get closer and assess the, the sitch? Sure, but I don't I think, think that we Lightning should... strikes the rock again, right behind the statue. Yeah, that means bad news. Wow. That yeah. means... That means... It very faintly, faintly illuminates the area, uh, and you can see... The one who is chanting in the middle uh, is now sitting down around a drum and beginning to play in the rhythm to his singing. You know, I, you know, lightning is a natural thing. I mean, I don't think that we should be freaking out right now. You know, we're in nature. Nature is great. And these druids are probably just praying for rain or something. You know what I mean? What, I really what do don't you think, think? That, that is? They, they, you said they're dancing in like a circle? Yes, around what? the rocks. There's around the, the rocks. one in the center here, and then they're dancing in a circular formation following the rocks, but not behind the statue uh, made of twigs. Made of twigs. Do we try to take down the statue? I think What do we do? I don't think we should let them keep going. I don't think, I I don't think we, we are outnumbered. I was going to say so The druids like, continue to chant. We should they burn. We should, this is like Talia, fire. <laughs> Hold on. I want to listen to what Talia Wisdom has save. To say. Wisdom save this bitch. Burn it down. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. Did you save? No. Yeah, that's a 19. I want to hear what Talia has to say. Because of how many of them there are, I think, it, and they haven't noticed us, it might be best to just, like... I'm just saying, if we need to fight a boss monster because they summoned it... Yeah. As you continue to deliberate, 
two more of the druids step in towards the center and begin to chant around the one in the center. I don't like this. Why don't we just sneak around? We either around. stop it or, or we go sleep. Someone choose. Well, why don't we try to sneak around and um, just avoid eyesight and see if we can find the seed? I'm pretty sure they're using the I'm seed right pull now. Pull my, to my cloak above my head so that I'm like camouflaged with everything. I'll, I'll, um, I'll be in stealth. I'll listen. But... I will. Sure. Because it has been a short rest, I will create Twilight Sanctuary that um basically it's like a hole of like dark light and it gives us yeah. each 1d8 temporary hit points and helps with stealth nice. all right um it will not stack with the 10 hit points that you already have that's just. fine that's fine i'm mostly wanting it to help with stealth yeah yeah what, how many temp hit points do i get eight? one d8 one d8 do you want me to roll for everybody uh, yes, please. Uh, Ooh, and then eight. if it's... Great, uh, you can choose to have the eight instead of your earlier five if you want. Sure. Uh, as she does this, uh, two druids in the center <coughs> begin a separate, equally alluring and violent dance around the one in the center. Okay. So maybe we should just go around? Just try to... <laughs> well, I'm I'm gonna see. If I All can... of you can make your stealth checks if okay. you want to move around. So Do we have advantage with... because of Twilight? What is it, what is it? You I have... think so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you all have advantage on your stealth. Check. Ooh, and thank goodness I do. <laughs> Same. Oh, good, because I got an eight and then I got a nineteen, so that's a twenty-one. Yeah. I got an eleven. Thirteen. I got an eleven. An eleven with advantage, Orson. Well, I have a question. Because I'm lucky, so I would re-roll ones anyway. So if I got yes. a one, then does that mean I could roll technically... Uh, yes, uh, your feature allows you to re-roll all ones. Okay. Uh, but it forces you... In, to take in the... Situation, you have to take the number that you re-rolled from the one. Right. So in that case, uh -huh. that's 13. Yeah, All you right. guys won't believe this. I got a four and a three, and I have a plus seven stealth modifier. So. Okay, great. Um, Gay so baby as jail. Approach, uh, as you begin to approach, uh, you make your way, uh, you stray from the path a little bit so that you're not as blatantly obvious. But as you do, Orson manages to trip over a small rock and just goes, fuck! Um, Orson. Or one of the druids look over, <laughs> And they start to chant even faster. Um, Stop Orson, it. Maybe we shouldn't be using no, language like that. No, they obviously just started chanting faster for a reason. They don't want us to stop yeah, them. Stop we them. Want, we, we have to stop them. We have to stop them. I, I just... I want to shoot an arrow at the twig monster with my short bow. I, we we are be, really... We all right. Hang on. We are on. outnumbered, you guys. We I'm cannot doing do that. You shoot an arrow at the statue? Yes. All right. That's 75 feet away. Oh, then I don't do that. So obviously, I would know it's that far, so I wouldn't do it. Yeah, you'd know it's a bit out of your range. Uh, um, we are outnumbered. What do uh, we do? Uh, I am a They're plant. They're obviously doing something. They're going to summon something. We either stop them or yeah. we go rest and try to figure it out tomorrow. Well, how do you expect to stop them without having to fight them afterwards? I mean, the druids continue their chant. We're gonna have to fight. Center have to has fight discarded his drum now, and the two that dance around him have linked arms and are doing their their thing. This I, is I so not good. So we either need to figure out a place to rest, or we should stop them now. I think we should stop them now. I think we should stop them now. There's no point in waiting for this. They trained it faster for a reason. I'm just saying. That's just not. Unless, unless you guys I, are doing the thing, then... I will not lead. Holly, you could bring if... that twig thing down if we got close enough. Easy. You could just light it up. <laughs> I, and I, I really feel like I it has something just... to do with this giant twig statue. We I need to. The druids like continue to... to chant, and another strike of lightning hits behind the statue. Um, 
We, I would just like to express to that I do not agree, but I have no control over the actions of my friends. Just mean I know, but if they're looking at us and going faster, they're summoning something to protect themselves. We can either stop that from happening and just face druids, or we can come back tomorrow and face a giant twig monster and a pack of druids. What does your staff do again? It just makes Blight think that I am cute and cuddly. Uh... So a Blight would not attack her, and then she can create them, I think? So, yeah. Okay, wait. So, uh... Needle Blights and Necrotic Plant Life find me cuddly, and that's fitting because I am now plant. Um, on a hit... Oh, it holds ten charges... Um, regains 1d6 plus 4 at dusk. On a hit, you expend one charge to regain hit points equal to the damage dealt, but then I have to throw two wisdom saving throws. Expend three charges to fire a blight bolt, dealing 2d6 necrotic damage, and you can do one further charge to regain half the hit points. Expend five charges to take control of two times my level in needle blights. So, like... So 12 needle blights. Yeah, I could control up to 12 needle blights if there so, were them around. I but mean, if my staff is broken or burnt, then all blights in one league are destroyed. Okay, we need to... The only way it, the only way I can do something is... As you deliberate control. over this... Uh, just do it. I'm not going to do it, but just do it. The two druids that are dancing around the one in the center both pull knives from their cloaks and slit the throat of the one in the center. Blood magic. Great. Blood oh, sprays yeah, all Orzin's over one the to statue talk. in front of them. Well, it's over. Mm. I know. <laughs> um, blood sprays all over the statue that they dance in front of, and the chanting stops. And that's how we died. Lightning uh, strikes down onto the statue, lighting it ablaze. The druids fall down, each of them, onto the ground. They are all incapacitated for the time being. However, with the giant twig a thing? tree on the far side of the circle, very large tree, I might add, Ooh. Uh, his token doesn't want to show up right now, uh, but 20 foot by 20 foot, begins to uproot itself <laughs> and begins to march towards the circle where the druids were once chanting. That's so cool. We're going to die. And that's where we'll end it for today. Uh, I hate it. Fun. I hate it. I, I hate think it it's so cool. Much. Yeah. Listen, it'll be well, cool if it's on our side. But, it's not. but how do you know it even wants to attack us? They didn't see us. They heard they a did sound. See us. They heard a sound. He they <gasps> he just said they looked over at us and started chanting faster, because right? Because they heard Orzin say fuck when he tripped. So they know that we're there. So they know someone is there, but this wasn't for us. This wasn't about us. We were just at the wrong place at the wrong time. But they're evil druids. We all know that. How do you know they're evil? If they're trying to protect themselves, you can't blame them. Well, apparently they stole the livelihood of the Martikoff family. I mean, of I'm course we don't know, but we've been I hired. will add that you killed a whole bunch of them mercilessly at the winery, so. We did do that, so. Exactly, um, so listen, if they want to protect themselves, I do not blame them. But we should have stopped them so it'd be easier to feed them. Listen, they're all incapacitated, and now there's a tree guy, and oh, tree maybe. guys are cool. No, they're not when they're trying to attack you. But how do you know also, they're trying to attack also us? 20, also, 20 by 20 feet is... I guess they're, heading towards the, they're heading towards the circle where all the druids were. They're not heading towards okay. us. But we are Listen. right on the other side of that circle. Listen, also, I just want to say... I you have optimism, Hannah, I but just I'm want still to say die. that the world doesn't always revolve around us. You have... I'm also, I'm and, also trying... Uh, I'm just saying that, like, it's possible that they use that magic with the seed, so we'd have to possibly get the seed out of this tree. Possibly. I love that also you have so much optimism, but 
I'm a melee fighter. I have to get up Me close too. to it. That means it's going to be slapping me around. I almost, I almost died. You do have a bow. But that's like not that effective. It's just 1d6. Listen. So I didn't realize my fire bolt, I can do that within 120 feet. Listen, so do you guys remember the story that Rictavio told us of the boy in oh, the God. stairwell? Because if you did, I distinctly remember one part about a tree that attacked and he survived is all I'm saying. Yeah, too bad. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. Hey, <laughs> my God. Well, this is a great little cliffhanger. Well, thank you all for joining us. So um, in short, Jessamine is still a plant, and I can still photosynthesize. And, and so, that's it. Yeah, uh, Maybe uh, now come back time, next week um, to see a plant v. plant showdown. Yeah. Oh also, I have my potion of Plants oak and strength zombies. that I'm about to stop, we'll be so like, I'll oh, be a plant too. Be like, oh honey, you need to get your roots done. Oh, there we no, go. No, it's so big! It's so big! Did you hear me? I made a pun. You didn't I did, say that. I did, but then he put that on the map. Now. It's so big. There we go. You can see it now, right? You know? I love that for her. She's glowing. Well, maybe they're like the trees in Shrek that'll just kind of talk to you. We're just sticking and, uh, with Someone's the Shrek gonna sing at them, it. and they're gonna turn on our side. Maybe I'm just gonna be like, uh, "Hi, I am uh, also a plant." Uh, like. Hi, I am a plant with you. I like dirt. Do you like dirt? Have dirt with me, friend. Uh, I will say it's very unlikely that you could have stopped the chanting anyway. That's what I was thinking. What if we burn down the twig statue? You would have had to kill all of them to yeah. stop the chanting. If even one of them continues, the event can still follow. Okay, but we could have tried. <laughs> but then we would have we would have been fighting too many druids and now they're all incapacitated also, and how there's many spell just slots do you have left there's just one target me do you want my bow me so you have something to like fight with in case you run out of the spells i have a she has weapons yeah i have weapons i just usually don't use them but i have a crossbow that has all of its boats its bolts still. oh okay cool yeah plus i, I will I add uh the and... golfia staff is uh, it will function like a quarter staff. Yeah. A as a weapon. So I'm probably good, but I also still have um, two first level spell slots, two second level spell slots, and one third level. Okay. Yeah. I'm probably um, gonna hold off on the third level just so I can do Liamun's tiny hut for us to sleep safely. We might not be able to sleep though. But I'm saying, like, if we do, I don't want it to be, oh, it's too dark. We need rest, but Are there is doing... nowhere safe to sleep. Um, I I will add, um, Jessamine. Yeah. When ritual casting a spell, it does not take a spell. <gasps> That's right. Oh my god. So, so I have you two can third ritual level. cast. Yes, and you that's don't have what to I did. That spell slot, you can ritual cast it. Awesome. So, so that's what I did more? earlier, but I used yeah. a spell slot, so I actually have two third level spell slots. That's why I went to look. Thank you. <laughs> um, of course. So, are we gonna try to just do nine to twelve as normal, or is this just like a? a an well, exception? I mean, we can okay. go to one on some days, but today um, I have something that yeah. I need to do. Yeah, no worries, no yes. worries. I was just wondering. We are still yeah. live, by the way. Yes, we are. <laughs> Hi, so, guys. So we will say we are meeting same time next week. Hope to see you there. I'm still a plant. Uh, does anyone else want to say anything? Um, I'm luck. not a plant. Cloud is really trying to rack his brain to see hopefully if he knows Baba La Saga. To, hopefully you don't get close to dying. Oh, you will. You All don't right. know Bubble the Saga Cloud. Three times, baby. Yeah. Bye, so everyone. Two. Bye from Bye. our chaotic party. Bye. I didn't die today. <laughs> <laughs>